Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMine Blocks. Hope you guys are having a great day with your crypto mining efforts. So in this one, I want to be talking a little bit about burst coin mining and specifically plot optimization. Now I've been mining burst coin for on and off for probably about 18 months, something like that. Um, I'm really focused quite heavily on it in the last um, year. Uh, recently that I've been finding that my burst coin earnings are not quite as been meeting my expectations. I've been earning quite well with them, um, but I've found that some others seem to have sort of um, smaller plot sizes and they're earning way more, or some other guys that have also got uh, bigger plots, but instead of not earning the same uh, ratios as me. So someone, for example, might have say four times the amount of plots, but they're, they're getting way above my four times sort of uh, earnings. So it doesn't seem to be um, adding up proportionally. So one of the things that I thought this might be is due to plot optimization. Uh, now I was always um, aware of this and originally when I plotted my actual files, um, I wanted to plot them in a um, using an optimized plotter. And what it does is it rearranges the data. So in theory, it should be sort of um, seeked faster, which means you can report your deadlines to the pools or solo mine into the wallet. Um, you can report your deadlines faster. So I'll insert a little uh, screen capture um, on screen so it kind of a, a picture's worth a thousand words what it does is just organize the actual data in the plots to make them be read uh, sequentially uh, so that was one of the reasons that I thought maybe my earnings were not quite a, as expected so in this video what I wanted to do was share with you um, a comparison between uh, kind of regular plots using the buffer method and a optimized plot which you can write using the um, the GPU plotter in direct mode, or you can use the, um, a plot optimizer to convert those original plots to optimized plots. Um, so that's actually what I've got. I've got sort of a two hard drives that are essentially the same. They're both USB free external hard drives. Um, I'm just actually testing both of those drives now using uh, Crystal Mark, the, is it Crystal, Crystal Mark, this mark? You know, the, the, the actual uh, drive um, performance checking tool. Sorry. So I've just tested that. So I've got a, a benchmark comparison on both those drives. And then I've got, like I say, two of the drives. One has got a just a large plot, which has got a high stagger, and it's one giant burst coin plot file. The other one has the same file, but it's in a optimized format. So hopefully what I want to show with you is how one version uh, compares against the other. And then I can use that information going forwards to decide whether it's worth my time to plot uh, or replot the rest of my drives using the, um, you know, in an optimized fashion or just leave them as they are. So what I'm hoping to see is a, a big increase in performance in terms of the actual read speed. So I will probably test it with uh, the Blago's uh, CPU miner and uh, almost certainly uh, uh, the J miner uh, GPU miner as well as um, just so I can scan through both those plots and have a like for like comparison both of them on different miners and then I'll obviously I'm going to share and relay all this information back to you guys so then you can you know decide for your own future mining efforts and hopefully it's uh, useful to you. So I'm going to jump over to the machine next to me. Um, our remote login to is going to be worker free and that's the one that has all the hard drives connected to it. I'll show you a screenshot of what that uh, looks like. Um, and then we'll do some performance tests and uh, continue on from there. I'll share all the results with you. Okay, so let's uh, go and do that now. Okay guys, so just before we jump right into it, uh, you can see on the actual screen, this is the actual performance benchmark from the Crystal Disk Mark. So this is the first drive that I'm testing with, which is the unoptimized plot version. And uh, it's the Toshiba 5 terabyte USB free external hard drive. Um, so you hear the actual results that we've got, and you can see all of those, um, pretty fairly standard sort of figures and um, exactly about what I was expecting. Um, however, for the Seagate expansion drive, which is also five terabytes and USB free, you can see it's quite a, quite a difference in terms of the actual performance. Um, so we're looking at about 30 megabytes less on the read and write uh, for the sequential data. Um, so that's quite a performance uh, difference overall. Um, so there is a slight performance on the uh, 4K uh, 
but overall the read write looks much more to me and I think uh, sequential data is uh, what we're going to be using for Burstcoin. So I think what I'm going to do is probably at the end of this um, experiment or demonstration, depending on exactly how the data works out, uh, what I might also do is uh, copy the optimized plot back onto the original Toshiba drive um, so we can have more of a like for like comparison. Um, I was going to do that originally, but um, for time saving purposes, um, I thought this would be an easy way to do it, but as it turns out, I might have to go back and do that anyway. But anyway, we'll continue on with the actual um, performance uh, check-in across the two plots, the unoptimized version versus the, the optimized versions of the plots, and we'll see um, you know, what, what information that leads to. So let's uh, jump over to Worker 3 and uh, we'll continue on. Okay, so we're now on Worker 3, which is the machine just here, so I'm going to be kind of looking over this way a little bit. So I can see what I'm doing on screen and obviously I can share that information on screen with you. So let's close the crystal disk mark. Um, I'll open up the uh, computer so you can see everything that's in there. So there's um, a whole bunch of different drives and they're all five terabyte external drives for the most part, except for uh, one of them, which is a four terabyte internal drive. Um, so the drives that we're gonna be working with is this Toshiba 10. So that's the original plot file that I was working with there. And then what I did was uh, I copied it and optimized it to uh, this drive, this uh, Seagate expansion drive. So in a different folder, plots optimized. And you can see that they're the same files. And so this is the unoptimized version and this is the optimized version. So I'm just gonna say regular and optimized. So let's start with uh, J minor. What I'll do is we need to change the configuration. I think I've already done this just as a little pretest. So it's set up in all the normal fashion. Um, I just need to uh, change the actual plot paths. Okay, so it's currently set to L plots, which is exactly how I want it to be. Uh, everything else is just a regular settings. I'm not gonna change anything else in there. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna run J miner. So it's just gonna mine on the single plot file, the regular plot file. And um, what we shall see is Uh, for each block it's going to scan through and we're going to get an average read speed. So we're going to have a, uh, a read speed in megabytes per second and also the time taken. So what I'm going to let that uh, do is run for say five blocks, um, write down each time, we'll get a good average over those five blocks. Then I'm going to do the same test on the optimized plot and see, see how that compares. Okay guys, so I've just finished the actual testing. Um, it did take quite a little while longer than um, I expected um, because Burstcoin has four minute blocks on average. So some of them are quite short, but some are quite long. Um, so it took a little while to get actually all the data in, um, but I have, I've got the information and I'll share that with you in just a moment, but I will let you know that it is it is quite surprising. It's sort of, um, it surprised me quite a bit. Um, so I'll share that with you now uh, in the slide so you can have a look at the actual data and I'll talk you through exactly what I found. Okay, so as you would have seen in that last section, I let J miner, which is a GPU miner, run through the actual plot on the uh, Toshiba five terabyte hard drive. And by the way, the plot size was, uh, it completely fill up the drive, but in Windows, it sees it as about 4.7 terabytes, 4.6 terabytes, um, but the drive is completely full. So one big um, plot, just to let you guys know. So here are the actual results. So these are the actual uh, blocks. So at the top, we've got the average uh, seek time in megabytes per second, and then underneath that, we've got the actual total time in seconds. So for the average megabytes per second, when it's reading, higher is better, you want a higher uh, throughput on the actual drive. In the times uh, per second, you want a lower uh, a lower time there. So let's go through kind of a block by block. So the first block you would have seen in that sort of a section previously. So the average uh, seek time was 29 megabytes per second. 
and the total time was 41 seconds to read that whole plot. Um, I'm not too sure why that was um, quite a bit longer than the others. I don't know whether it is because of the actual scoop number or maybe it's because partly because the actual driver is possibly still spinning up. Um, I did go through the same sort of process in, in both um, cases. Um, so I'm not too sure why that first block is a little bit longer. Um, but going on from there, kind of up and down a little bit. Um, and as we sort of continue, so the average sort of... Um, read speeds, we've got 29, 84, 48, 83, and 87. So roughly about 70 megabytes uh, per second for each one of the actual blocks. In the actual time for each one of the actual blocks on the seek time, that is, so each time a new block comes in, it rereads, and this is how long it takes in total to read that plot file. So it was uh, 41, then 14, 25, 14, 14, and then I watched about five blocks afterwards and on average, it was about 14 seconds um, there afterwards um, overall. Um, some were a little bit higher, some a bit lower, but on average about 14. Um, I'll do the actual uh, calculated averages in just a moment. Uh, but going on to the actual next slides. So showing you um, the Seagate 5 terabyte USB external. So this is the same plot as the first time, but this time it's optimized. Um, and I'll show you how to actually optimize your plots in another video. But here we can see, so this is um, a couple of blocks after that first one. So we've got the average megabytes per second, same as we did in the first time. So immediately it starts off much faster, 51. On the second plot, I was kind of a gobsmacked. It went to 110 megabytes per second. Um, previously on the regular plot, it didn't get anywhere near 100. So that's quite dramatic. Uh, then it dropped down to 49, then 112 megabytes per second, and then 103. So in three of those five blocks, we was over 100 megabytes per second uh, read speed. Um, on the previous regular plots, we didn't get um, anywhere near that. So I was quite surprised by that, uh, particularly considering as the actual uh, benchmarking that we've done reported to the drive as being a slower drive. So that's um, definitely a fact that has been increased and quite significantly. Uh, the seek times were also reduced um, as well. Obviously the, the two, the read speed and the actual seek times go hand in hand together, of course. So we're looking for lower times again. So first one was 23 seconds, then 11 seconds, 24 a bit higher, then 10, then 11. So that completed our sort of a five block test. Um, once again, I watched a few blocks um, there afterwards and the average was between 11 and 12 seconds for the actual total read times. So just to have a look at the actual averages and uh, for a better comparison. On the Toshiba with the regular plots, we've got an average of 66 megabyte, 66.2 megabytes per second uh, for the average read speed and the total time taken over the blocks of 21.6. Um, it's a little bit of an unfair average, I think, because of that first block was, was quite high to start with. Um, but even if you sort of rule that out, it's, it's not that much of an increased uh, performance. So that's that for that drive. On the Seagate uh, drive with the optimized plots, the average speed over those five blocks was 85 megabytes per second. So quite an increase over the Toshiba with the regular plot. And the average seek time was reduced as well to 15.8 seconds. Um, and like I say, going on from there onwards, the, the more on the continuing blocks afterwards, obviously if I'd done a much longer test, you would have more accurate information. Um, the, the, yeah, but overall the actual read speeds were much faster and the seek times were much lower. Okay guys, so that's all the information that I have to share with you in this particular video. Uh, going on from here, I think what we can see is that the optimized plots certainly does make a dramatic difference. Now just to get a really good uh, comparative test, what I'm actually going to do now is copy that optimized plot back onto the original Toshiba drive. Um, I would like to have included it in this video, um, but that, like I say, because it's like a four and a half terabyte file, it's gonna take all day to copy it back across. And um, so I don't have the time to share that with you uh, in this particular video. But what I will do is uh, in an update video, I'll share the actual same performance test again um, with that optimized plot on that Toshiba drive and do it more like an actual follow up video to share it with you. Um, but I think on this, I've kind of uh, seen enough to uh, conclude that the optimized plots certainly do make um, quite a dramatic difference and um, I'm actually going to be going back through um, and re-plotting uh, all of my drives. So I'm going to start with the same one I've done today. I'm going to sort of uh, re-plot uh, back onto the Toshiba drive, test it again, just double check all the actual facts and figures. 
And if it's good, like I think it will be, then I'll be going back for and I'll be optimizing all of my plots. And I'll show you guys exactly how to do that. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching, found it useful, informative, uh, maybe even educational. Um, if you like this kind of video, be sure to watch my other upcoming videos where I share this kind of information on a regular basis. And yeah, thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll be updating you guys soon. Um, look out for an upcoming video where I'll show you the actual GPU uh, optimizer in action. And um, yeah, so just look out for that one. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.